Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Rad Tarot, and uh, this is going to be Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon and Taurus Rising. Uh, weekly Tarot reading for a tar and a Normand reading for uh, December 10th to December uh, 16th, 2018. And uh, while I'm doing the shuffling, uh, I want to remind you once again guys that this is just a general reading for Aries star sign and it is not your personal reading. Therefore, in this video, I will do my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread, but at the end, it forces you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, just like I'm doing uh, in the examples in this video, well, that will be a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is uh, listed down below in the description of this video. And there you can find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. And uh, don't forget that right now in December there is a uh, special sale that regards to the 20 and 30 minute live reading. Basically their prices are uh, lower than uh, the usual cost. And uh, one more thing from now on, we are to do uh, an enhanced spread. And what the enhanced spread is, it basically puts multiple cards into a, a single position. So this is the original, uh, the original spread here, the main positions. Now the first one of the Hierophant is going to be the topic of your, uh, of your week. Taurus is the second card that is going to be the Queen of Cups, which is the core of the situation. Third card that we do have that is to be the Four of Swords, which is the challenges that are causing predicaments. And the last one that we do have that is to be the Three of Wands, which is the guidance the Tarot is offering to you. So here on out, uh, it, throughout this week, because we do have the Hierophant card as a main topic, it does mean that this is going to be, and because we do have the Four of Swords here into a uh, predicaments position, it does look like that this week is going to be a week of deliberations and a uh, negotiations or a conversations which you are going to lead with either a group a group of people or one single person that is further shown here into the queen of cups which is the core of the situation probably the person or the group of society in which you either want to jump in or what i suspect is that you want to work with anyway so let's go to the uh, enhanced spread so with the hierophant we do have the knight of pentacles so what that means is that the topic of the week points or how the week is going to go points that is going to go rather very very slowly but uh the good uh the good side of that or on the positive end of this slow development is going to be steady uh, development and is going to be an, an improvement so that being said it does look like that this week is going to be completely deprived from you taking any risks whatsoever risks through which what's going on I mean we do have a lot of police cars running through uh, passing by my house anyway so um, as you are deprived from taking risks there won't be any uh, losses that you are to suffer throughout the week but these couple of cards here are uh, kind of like resembling more about a, uh, a create the creation of one's long-term plan of action like plan of action regarding an important project into your career plan of action of uh, of how one relationship is to move on forward that could be the very preparation here of an engagement where for example your partner uh, is trying to find a way how to propose you in a certain in a such way where you are not going to say no and etc etc or you could be the one you know that is trying to find a way now uh, very important here with the higher with the Hierophant, whatever plan you are creating, you know, and whatever you are trying to find the best, the best possible approach for it, uh, there are a couple of things that you need to keep in mind here, or maybe more than a couple of things, but for the lack of a better term, it is how I'm going to say it. Otherwise, I have to say it numerous things. Anyway, so first and foremost, you gotta keep it simple. The kiss. Uh, 
the kiss rule here applies. Keep it simple and stupid. You don't want to have a sophisticated plan of action because as I said, uh, as you are deprived from taking risks here, this is also the aim you should follow. Keeping it simple and stupid, there won't be any risks whatsoever that you have to invest in. As well, uh, these cards are pointing that you need to find your determination or in other words, to answer to yourself why you want to do it. Because action Actions without determina determinations, uh, determination are futile actions. And lastly, you need to listen to those which are um, which already have been there. So, for for what it seems, you know, you are to have around you somewhere into your environment a a person or a, a society of people, you know, which. <clears throat> which people or a person are very well aware and familiar with the whole procedure and that also kind of excludes the pride that you might have so if you are in a little bit of a new term with those people it will be beneficial from you you know to kind of like try to reach a um, to better your terms with them but the very least here the hierophant does not and with the knight of pentacles does not point to uh to immediate material gains the material gains are to follow straight uh, are to follow after you reach the completion of um, of this undertaking here uh, material gains are also um marriage you know this is in the material world as well engagement uh money that you can attract from one project you can get as gains and etc etc what i'm trying to say here is is that your intentions that you are supporting your actions with are to bear results and those results are to be material so the next card that we do have is the core of the situation that is the queen of cups and that could come as a manifestation in a couple of ways all right yeah oh okay so that is not a person at all or it, if it is a person, that is a person who stood into the shade until this very moment and now as they are seeing you determined enough and capable enough, they are coming out of the shadow, giving you an opportunity to either prove yourself or to kind of invest yourself into the undertaking you so much want. But I don't believe, it is very slim chance that that is going to be a person. I do believe that this is you waiting for the right moment to come and the right moment is coming in this week for you guys and the waiting it's now over it is literally what those cards are saying in regards to the previous the previous couple of cards now a couple of things uh, more i want to say about the queen of uh, the queen of cups with the judgment card now they lack synergy which means that uh, as the sooner the moment of initiation comes around, the more you are going to start changing perception and changing as well understanding of the whole job in front of you. Again, that could regard to your relationship or it could regard to your business as well. And this is why it's very important here to consult yourself with those who are already, you know, qualified and experienced and etc, etc. So you can maintain a, an accurate perception so you can discern uh, reality from fiction here. That is very, very important. One more thing I can say with those couple of cards is that the, uh, the moment of initiation here, the moment of where you have to either propose to your partner or involve yourself into that project or start the new job and etc etc is going to come suddenly almost out of nowhere and uh, it could baffle you at that specific point you may feel hesitant because you will have to you know you you will basically need to do it or you you need to traverse that threshold in a matter of, of seconds literally where you for example up, someone approaches you uh, and says look I have an open spot for you open place for you to take on in my company are you agreed or are you not agreed they will not give you an option I will think of, I will think about it you know and you you will have to make that decision in a split second and it, at that point we are going to the third card here which is the four of swords the predicaments and it is exactly 
the moment of hesitation here where you will feel that you need further consultation and further explanation of what are to be the consequences of the uh, the determinate actions that you need to exert in there and it is exactly where the determination is going to be required because again you need to be determined for improvement so you can make that split second decision or uh, you know a split second action that it will be required from your behalf the card that accompanies the four of swords it is the uh, high priestess here and uh, unfortunately with this combination it does look like that you will have a very difficult a very big difficulty to explain to yourself how that thing is going to work out at all i mean you will have no clue that 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 could happen for example you know you want to propose or yeah okay so you are in a relationship your partner proposed to you you have to make a decision split second you cannot say i think about it i will think about it and yet at the, this particular time you cannot see you both working out into such a, a serious commitment all right so that will be the predicament here of finding a rational chain of uh, um chain of events that are to be systemized in a plan that the whole thing is going to work through and uh, that could create a, a portion of fear within you that is kind of like understandable you know because uh, if you choose not to you may regret for i cannot say the rest of your life but you know for a big portion of time moving on forward that you have missed a um, a wonderful opportunity or if you jump into it you know uh, you may kind of like regret that you have done it way too prematurely again uh, this is just what it is going on within you all right and uh, just because you have to make the decision split second it doesn't mean that should if you go with it if you go along with it you know and you say yes to whatever whatever you are proposed to here uh, again it does <clears throat> excuse me again it doesn't mean that you will not have any support throughout your development just on the contrary you are going to have and that is guaranteed to you here in the very first combination that we do have the knights of pentacles and the hierophant so you are to be guided for and if i have to predict the result in a long term uh, should you decide to uh, dive deeper into your relationship um, then that relationship will will uh, consolidate on the mutual support and trust and if you have any hesitance what you're feeling towards your partner the you are to define a, a new meaning of love so you are to find out that you love them because they love you and because you know um, you you are supporting one another and in general you are to find the true value that consolidates one relationship and if that is regarding to your career here with these cards uh, the money will not be relevant for you any longer you know they are just going to be a circumstantial thing because you will love what you are going to do as a result of that decision that you are to take or that split second action that you need to also invest into um, or take on uh, throughout this week December 10th to December 16th so we are going to the last card that we do have that is to be the three of wands and that is the guidance and just on its own the three of wands it is telling you only one thing take on to this challenge that is the only message as a follow-up to the next card uh, to the next um, to the previous cards it says that you are sitting on a solid established patterns here right and uh, it is basically without taking on a challenge there won't be any improvement for you because through challenges it is how we humans improve so even if it does seem frightening even if it doesn't make much sense even if it does seem quite challenging you have to take it because it's your shore to conquer and to explore but the additional card of the enhanced pride that is to be the knight of cups and it is pointing that in that specific case guys these cards are pointing that you are going to find out that this thing is really um, 
something you can do with much ease. I mean, you are going to be very perceptive when it comes to theory, when it comes to performance as well. So you are to perform here with ease and you are not going to break a sweat. Uh, regarding future development either for the project for the job for the relationship you name it depending on your uh, current situation it is how these cards are going to play out because yeah, you know every single uh, Taurus is every single Taurus is to have a, a different situation that they will have to deal with and I hope that you can align those cards with it but uh, generally you will not break a sweat here to fit with the scheme to basically go along with the flow of uh, of this undertaking and moving on forth with the knights of cups it does look like that as well you are to uncover um how can i place it to uncover slumber talents or talents that you or talent skills or knowledge that you are not using at this very moment um, and you are going to find a way how to incorporate it into your daily routine how to make money of it and how to become more attractive with it and etc etc although the synergy is not very good here the knights of cups is taking off the edge of the challenge all right so whatever looks very challenging for you before you take the split second decision it will um, you will become aware quite quite soon afterwards that it is not as frightening as you thought it is and it's not going to be nearly as challenging as you thought it's going to be so uh that was the tarot reading for you tauruses now let me um shuffle the Lenormand cards and to see what event uh, you should either look forward to or uh, try to avoid. Just one second here to mix them really well. So uh, let's see. So the first card that we do have for you this is going to be the letter and now the letter it's, it refers to chat to chat message to uh, to an email or to a invitation as well the next card this is going to be the tree now the tree refers to health the tree refers uh, stands for longevity and it stands for you know long lasting or taking roots and the last one this is going to be the fish oh my god the fish stands for expand it stands for money and it stands for success into business so you are to have an invitation here for a, a long-term business project for uh, uh, for basically a, a way how you can increase your financial state and again it's going to take a split second for you to decide on it's going to seem challenging guys but you as soon as you take on that opportunity you are to see that it's not merely as challenging as you thought it's going to be so that being said this was your tarot and lenormand reading for uh, december 10th to December 16, 2018. I hope you Taurus has enjoyed it and you liked it. And again, I want to remind you that this was just a general reading for Taurus star sign and it was not your personal reading. If you want a personal reading where you are going to discuss your personal situation uh, with the cards that I'm drawing for, for it uh, and interpreting them aligned with, the, with it, go to my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and uh, choose a service from it and don't forget that right now the prices of the 20 and the 30 minute tarot reading live tarot reading with me are um, basically lowered or abated as the right term so that being said guys yeah uh, we are going to see each other around and until then bye